Bro, this is a crazy ass outfit. Like, I feel like the androgyny we got going on here is like kind of off the charts. Kind of off the chain as well. It's both off the charts and off the chains. It's not on either of them, I will say. Um, like, okay, so the hat is kind of giving boy, you know? This necklace is kind of giving boy. And then, like, the whole, like, looking like I have... Well, it almost, like, the binder and stuff, it almost kind of looks like a wife beater in a way. Which I ha I hate. I hate that word, wife beater. Why did we decide that some random shirt should be called something relating to domestic abuse? Like, that's the, that's its name. Why did we do that? Why did we do that, guys, as a species? Like, I guess, for some reason, people associated... Like, maybe there were just a lot of domestic abusers who happened to wear that shirt? And that stuck to the point of it being its name? Like, what? But anyway, I just love this, because, like... So there's this these masculine vibes, but then, you know, the wife beater thing is actually a binder, and then, like, this chain or whatever is actually, like, rainbow and gold is, like, gay and everything. And then, like, there's my, my um, cool crop top I'm wearing. It's, like, you know, it's all cool and crazy and all that. And, it's, and so that's kind of femme a little bit, but in, like, a tough way, you know? And, um, not to say that, like, women can't be tough or anything like that. I just, I don't want to even imply that. But I just mean, like, I don't know, t stereotypical femininity doesn't involve toughness. Like, I feel like that's pretty uncontroversial. Like, the most stereotypical femininity, the most, like, cookie-cutter, um, standard girly things are usually, like, more soft, you know? So, yeah, not, like, women can't be tough, but, like... That's just like the the stereotype, you know, um, that they're that they're soft and all that. So, you know, sorry guys, sorry, sorry guys. Anyway, these are my shorts that I'm wearing. Let me see, is my fucking fly down? No, my fly is not down. Sometimes it's down, and I don't like that. I'm like, cheer up, fly. Don't be sad. I know everything sucks, but like, I'm here for you. You know. So here's these cool shorts. Wow, crazy. Crazy. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> now, um, so this is my Walmart fit. We're literally going to Walmart. I didn't get these things from Walmart. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Where did I get these shorts from? God, I don't know. But other than that, like, I just know that none of these things came from Walmart. Not to say I don't shop there. Again, we are going to Walmart right now. Like, this is a, it's a little Walmart shopping trip. Um, yeah, so this is my Walmart fit. This is how I'm dressing up for the, the big W, you know. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna put on um, the socks and shoes, even though... I mean, I guess... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to put them on. I... I'll be right back on camera, okay? This isn't gonna be a long wait. I'm gonna be back on camera. Just wait. Just It's okay. Just a few seconds, okay? Here's the socks I'm gonna wear. You'll see them better once I put them on, but now I have to find my shoes. Just, 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 just bear with me, okay? All right, I found my shoes. So. Cool plaid socks. These probably came from Italy, like, my mom gave me some socks from Venice, Italy. She did go there one time, and I'm pretty sure these are the socks that she gave me from, from Venice, if I'm remembering correctly. So, pretty swag. Uh, they're very... They look kind of sophisticated, but they could also be punk, because plaid is punk, you know? So, that's cool. Plaid can represent so many things. It can represent, like you know, Scottishness, it can represent, um, 
sophistication, it can represent punkness, like literally all these different things. You know, lumberjacks, uh, Canadians, everything. Like, it's got so many associations, it's like, it's crazy. You can do so much with plaid. Imagine living a plaidless life. A, pla a life without plaid isn't a life at all. I think for a while I didn't even like plaid. I don't know. I think I, I, think I was anti-plaid. It seemed boring to me, but now I'm all about it. Okie dokie, let's go, let's fucking go, guys. No, but literally, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna, like, uh, I'm gonna show you what the full outfit looks like, like, standing up, and you're probably gonna see my bedroom floor. It's gonna just, everyone's gonna erupt with madness because of the bedroom floor, but whatever, I don't care. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> camera correctly like it's such a precise thing I mean that's basically good enough like <laughs> oh yes you know we're trying we're trying you know <laughs> okay then that's that's good that'll do it I hope you like what you see. That would be really great if you liked what you saw. Sniff. Your aura is delectable. <laughs> that sounds like something Chainlink would say. <laughs> Alright then, bye. <laughs>